Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to bring you with me just to go through <laughs> our planners. I would like to plan with you guys. I think there's been a long time that I don't do this and I would like to just share how I plan with you guys. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma. Today I want to take you with me and just uh, so you can see how I plan for our week. There has been a long time that I don't create a video of planning the week with me and I think it's a good time for that. I have my pens and color pencils and pencils and everything I will need in here. As well, I have his planner because immediately after I finish with my planner, I will be working with his planner and I have as well in here the books that I am going to be making note of. So I will just add these pens and everything on this side so it's easy for me to grab. His planner will be somewhere in here. And I will just start with our planner. And these past uh, months are being one that haven't been working very well for us. So I would like to see how this month will be working. I just have to say we did finish with fix it grammar way ahead of time. That's something that I am happy about it. Uh, we were thinking that it was going to take us long, a little bit longer after all the things that are been happening here in our homeschool, but so far worked very well and we are done with fix it grammar. So I am continue with first language lessons for the world train mind. That's what I am doing currently. And we are going to be working with first language lessons for a while. So I am using this pen because I don't know where I put my pen. <laughs> and I don't like this pen so much, but this is what I have at hand. So this is what I am going to be using. So language arts here. I have in here math. History. and geography, science, and electives. Some of the plans that I had for electives didn't happen as I planned. So that is something that I have to work with as well for this year. This past week was one that I forgot to mark something here, but we pretty much complete everything, just maybe Spanish. We haven't been so consistent as I as I wanted to, as well with geography. Those two, we are catching up with science and it's working very well. And it's, I feel like this past week was not the best for us. I have to add the pages that we did for the Bible Made Easy there. We are going pretty well with the Bible Made Easy. The Bible Made Easy is what we're using for Bible study. And we are about to finish this book. We are going very well and that's something that I really like. So I am focusing right now with him. We are on page 226. We went through that already. I always like to give a, a review of what we did for the prior week. So we left on 227. So we read this already. So I would like to give a review again of the same page. And after that, continuing, but if you notice, we don't have that much left and we're going pretty fast. Bible is one of the subjects that he really enjoys. So we are working very well with Bible. So I will add in here the Bible made easy. And I will add in here pages. We're working still with the prayers and promises for boys. So I will add here prayers and promises for boys. And I will add the pages. 
we are reviewing the key truth because I quizzed him and I noticed that he didn't knew them all. So we are still reviewing them. So for the prayers and promises for boys, we were on page 64 and 65. And we are now for 66 and 67. So let me just grab the little string and mark the page. So 66, pages 66, 67. We're doing key truth is a review. And for... The Bible made easy. We're on page 227. And I would like to cover 228 and 229. Okay, so I'll, I think 229 here. So it's just it gives me an idea on where we need to be. Obviously, if we continue discussing and everything goes fast with it, he's understanding everything, then we can move on and I will just add the pages in here. So what I will do now is that because I don't want this video to take long, I will be adding everything. You won't hear me talking and I will just speed this process, okay? Okay, so I am done with the Bible made easy. If you heard a noise, it's because my kid is here in the room. But I just add everything, make note of everything. Here I have a possible project that we will do. I add Monday there. I will add here spelling words mastered. We continue doing these. And I would like to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I have those words there. And I am done with the Bible Made Easy and the Prayers and Promises book. So I will just keep them in here. Next, I would like to do is all of our reading. We've been working very well now with all of our reading. We are being cashing up with all of our reading. So that is working very well for us again. So I am with him and I would like to show you guys in here. So I guess this video will be planning with me and at the same time give you guys an update on how we've been doing because I've been sharing that with you guys. So we are on lesson 41. EA as in bread, we are studying the second sound of the phonogram. So it's been working very well and I like that. So it's, it's, it's going the way it's supposed to be going. So that is good. And just the fact that we've been consistent again with all of our reading has been helping us a lot. Sometimes a program doesn't work. It's not because the program really does not work, but because you haven't been consistent with the program. Obviously, sometimes you can be as consistent as consistent as you can and it's still the program doesn't work. Then you need to be looking into what is happening that that program is not working with your kid. And if you might want to change it or you might see that you in fact need to change the program because it's something that is not working where that it's not working very well with your kid is what i am trying to say my tongue is all twisting today sorry about that so we are on all of our reading lesson 41 all of our reading Lesson 41. And we are working with those phonograms, uh, those words, lip words as well. So that's something that is helping us to take a little bit longer, but nothing that I need to be worried. He's been working very well with the all about reading. Usually we take one week with the all about reading in one lesson. I should say, but sometimes if I see that he is needing more practice, I just extend that lesson as much as I need to extend it. The idea is that I am going at his own pace and if he feels like I am going too fast, then I just have to slow down and that's about it. 
So here we are doing grammar and this grammar we're talking about first language lessons. So we are using first language lessons during Mondays. I am not doing it every day, uh, but I am trying to do at least twice a week first language lesson and I will come for all of our reading in a second again. But for first language lessons, we were on lesson 25. He's doing very well with this program as well, just, just like with Fix It Grammar. But we are now, we are going to be on lesson 26. So I would like to add here lesson 26 and we are doing helping verbs. And we sometimes do the enrichment activities, not every time, but we do. Like for example, here they have a dictation exercise and a copy work. We've been doing the copy works for this uh, book. And we sometimes do the dictation exercises as well. So we've been working very well with this program. And it's a program that I enjoy as well, just like we enjoy fix a grammar that sadly is over for us, but we are going to continue with the next book. So you guys have a hint already of what we are going to continue using for next year. So here I will add writing and next I would like to have in here. I'm not sure if I would like him to do editation here. I don't think so. So I will just leave it like that. So grammar, we will continue with lesson 26 and actually depends if I see that he's going to be, I should do this, like but that. I think I should like to continue then with lesson 27. So I would like to give a review of this lesson for Wednesday, the same lesson, and then moved to lesson 27. So we are doing Mondays and Wednesdays grammar, which is with first language lessons. So lesson 26 again, I would like to do it, helping verbs. Right there. And I would like to add in here, writing. Stop. And I didn't even realize that it was completely full, the SD card, but I just want to show you guys I still, I finished already making all the plans and everything, but I will still like to show you guys. And I was saying that with the first language lesson, sometimes I like to make note of the pages, but since, since it's a lesson that doesn't have uh, much to do, I will just add what it is about, which is helping verbs. I already finished everything. So I am going to just walk you guys. I just add all the information that we need for primary mathematics, which is a program that has been working very well for us. So we continue moving along with this program. I am not quite sure if I am going to stay with this program. It's been working very, very, very well. What I don't like is that it just has so many books. And for us that we do car scrolling, I see that as a little bit complicated, but I like it. We have been enjoying this program. I haven't even been using the teacher guides as of right now. He's been working very well, but he's interesting on another math program. So I am not quite sure yet. He likes and enjoys this program. He stated that he would like to continue with it, that he actually would like to continue with both of them to see which one he likes better. I am not quite sure if we are going to be able to do that because I work outside. We do a lot of car schooling and I, I know that both programs uh, have a lot to work with. So I am not quite sure yet if we are going to continue with this program. It's been working very, very well with my kid so far. And I need to make a decision. We have to make a decision, but so far he's been enjoying it very well. We use this math notebook. This is something that he's been able to use as well. And I like it because it keeps everything organized. I noticed that he didn't do the work to get that answer. 
just as in here which i usually ask him to do i would like to talk to him but so far this math notebook is working very well do you remind your kids about remembering to make sure that they go through the whole uh, through the whole exercise to before they just give you the answer or do you accept just the answer i do like when my kid writes the entire problem because it just let me know how he got to that answer but just leave me down in the comments if you guys just accept the answer or you guys want the entire problem written there for you to make that decision we are continuing working as well with his uh, workbook i have been correcting all his uh, work some of the times that you see this is not because he doesn't know the answer i notice that sometimes if we have something to do and it's something that is fun he just tries to go really fast through the answer and i don't like that so we've been working as well with that sorry about the noise we continue as well with a story of the world we are on chapter 31 and that's what i made note in here and we are working very well with the story of the world it's a book it's a history book that we really enjoy and we would like to continue he really likes the story of the world he's been enjoying america's story but i noticed it's not as much as he enjoys the story of the world. We purchased the audiobook for America's Story and I was a little bit disappointed because while the audio is really, really helpful and I liked the audiobook because of that, I noticed as well that it was just no excitement in the voice of the narrator. I am not quite sure if he's the person who wrote the program and i was disappointed because it's so good the program and then when you go to the audiobook it's a little bit monotone i am not sure if it is if it is because we haven't been getting used to it but i have the opportunity to listen to the story of the world audiobook and while we didn't purchase the audiobook uh, for ancient world or middle ages I will do like to purchase the audiobook for the next level that we get for Story of the World because he was so happy and he felt like the narrator um, was just putting so much enthusiasm when uh, reading the story for Story of the World. So he did like a lot the audiobook of a Story of the World and he actually asked me to purchase the audiobook so uh that's a little bit of a difference here we continue working with skill sharpeners for science and i may note in here if you notice it's blank because uh we are moving a little bit slow so we're playing a little bit of a catching up so i am just waiting for when we do something then i make note so uh, i am just taking the time as well with geography with a spanish we've been working very well and he's understanding a lot of spanish he has a little bit he needs to work a little bit more when it comes to uh, having a conversation in spanish as well with the vocabulary so that is something that i need to pay a little bit more of attention and now that he is moving on to another uh year of homeschool i would like to pay a lot of attention on that but keep things simple i would like to simplify everything because i noticed that the most uh because i noticed that the more i add the less time we have to focus very well on each material and each subject yes i still would like to add activities here and there but just try to keep it as simple as i can i work outside and having things simple will help us as well to just focus a little bit more on the materials that I consider are very important like language arts math as well as uh, history for us is really important so uh, I would like to just take it easy we are about to finish with the bible made easy book we are moving very well with that and we're working very well with the bible made easy I would like to show you guys that now since my video stopped I'm not quite sure if you guys got to hear that but he's been working very well with the Bible made easy 
and I already have plans for uh, our Bible program for next year so stay tuned because obviously it's not going to be the same one because we finished with this we're about to finish with this already so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe to my channel I will see you then bye bye